Hello. Go ahead. <laughs> melancholy? I have come down with a severe case of melancholy. Don't do inside stuff, but yes. I've, it's a funny way to say you're depressed. I knew that was coming. Here's SNL right away? Yes. It's me. I was fired from SNL. Actually, not for the reason you heard. It's because I'm terrible at improv. And uh, this is, this is going to be bad. <laughs> they didn't care. North Korea? Hmm. Huh. I, I, was, I, I like it. I like what's going on there. I support it. I liked when Trump and Kim Jong-un... Or is it ill now? Whatever. It was my guy, dude. You see him drop a couple LBs? Show back up, everyone was like, oh! There's videos of him riding a horse, which is about as funny as it gets. I rode a scooter here, and I probably looked like a fat guy on a horse. There's something about when somebody's balance is that high off. <laughs> it's just way up there. Just... Yeah, I like North Korea, and I support them. And uh, yeah, if they decide to nuke South Korea, shit would be tight. <laughs> that would be lit. I support a, a war, I guess. That's called improv, folks. I had no idea what this show was. Uh, what else? Italians? Italians are the last people we can be openly racist against. <laughs> And that's, that's going to stop. And somebody's going to... I was the last guy with Asians. I was the final one. They were like, nope, nope, the cutoff was just now. You're fired. I was like, what? I thought we were, that was the one we were allowed to be. That's going to happen to somebody with Italians. Like, I can come up here and be like, fucking wop, hook nose, greasy, guidos. And everyone's like, yeah, that's pretty funny. Three years, that clip will be shown and be like, whoa. Which actually, this isn't gonna go well, but uh, it's funny that that had to happen for every, you know? There was one day where saying it wasn't cool anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some guy walked into his office and dropped it. And everyone was like, what the fuck, dude? He was like, you guys don't think that's funny? I think that's funny. Maybe we disagree. Down syndrome. Down syndrome? All right. I'll do that. That was not my suggestion. But I will say this. I like it. I'm pro it. I have family members that have it. It's fun. That is weird, because everybody's always like, oh, it's such a bad, it's the best thing you could be. They're happy as fuck, dude. They have the best life. Dude, autistic, autistic kids, they're like cats. A little skittish. You're not sure if they like you at all. Down syndrome are dogs. They're the dogs, dude. You get home. You get home from somewhere, they're like, where the fuck have you been, dude? I got so much to show you. This is going to be the best day. <laughs> Tell it, ask a Down Syndrome kid, do you want to go for a walk? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, throw a ball. <laughs> throw a ball. <laughs> All right. Country music? No, grunge. Grunge music? Uh, I don't know. I don't really... Mayonnaise? How, how come you guys are just getting like exactly, you were like, do something racist. Down syndrome, fat. <laughs> Why are you just naming things I am? Mayonnaise? Yes, I am constructed entirely of mayonnaise. <laughs> Sunburns. Sunburns? <laughs> All right, somebody in the back. These, these fucking Nazis in the front. Jerry Jones? I like, yeah, no. Someone say Titanic? The Titanic? Yeah. I don't know why I'm pumped on that. 
but I like that. Bukaki. Just, just dying. <laughs> Bukaki? Hold on, I'm doing. I want to think about Titanic because that's pretty funny. It's funny to be like, let's go on a trip, and then you die. You know what I mean? Like that girl. <laughs> that was that was kind of her Titanic. Except Jack got Rose this time. <laughs> There's only room for one on the van. <laughs> he did the right thing. No, it's not good to, I, are we not allowed to make fun of that? I think we should be allowed to make fun of that girl. We're all good, yeah, shut up, lady. Don't make me come down there and <laughs> take you in a van trip. <laughs> Don't make me take you to a state park, lady. I will say that what's tough about it is they were making that fucking video of them like, we're going on a journey, like that YouTube video. And it's funny because every time I see one of those, I'm like, fucking, I hope they die. <laughs> and then this one, it was like, oh shit. Is, it, is that guy dead? Is he in a swamp dead right now? Is he on the loose? He's hiding in the swamp? No, dude, he killed himself. If he went, all right, props. <laughs> Look, fellas, I'll talk to the fellas real quick. You know when your bitch is getting a little yappy? And you're like, I'd like to strangle her and then uh, hide in a swamp and kill myself. <laughs> Every once in a while, somebody has the balls to do it. All right, that was Titanic. Next. <laughs> All right, I got, I got a couple more, and then we got a... Barbershops? All right. I don't know, barbershops is tough. I've been going in there. I'm like balding, so it's, it's very difficult, and people, I don't know if it's that funny. No, that's not funny. Ikea? I'll tell you what, I like Ikea. Putting it together makes me want to take my girlfriend on a trip in a van. <laughs> And they're not the most, like, sturdy. I'm fat, so, like, you buy cheap furniture constantly. Everybody's buying cheap, like, we built it ourselves furniture. And I gotta come to all my fucking hips, skinny communist hipster friend's house in New York and just shatter couches. I'm gonna go through couches, dude. I haven't thought about it until right now. I swear to God, I broke two couches in the last year. Just sitting. I sit hard, dude. I, I pop. Kobe Bryant. Kobe. Hold on. Well, gentrification's funny too. Well, Kobe's not funny. I will. Kobe. My friend Ari Shafir got in trouble. He's great. But he. My friend Ari tweeted a video when Kobe Bryant died that was like, ah, fucking rapist died or something like that. Sounds like it's not funny. I, I get it. I didn't think it was funny at first either. But then, all right, never mind. I shouldn't have brought this up. I didn't think it was great either at, the, at first. But then, like, comedy clubs started getting bomb threats, and I was like, all right, now it's funny. <laughs> now I understand why that's kind of funny. That, uh, gentrification, I don't care. Although, I'll tell you what's happening with gentrification, is they're actually, I'm from like a white trash town, and it's, nobody's talking about white shitty towns being gentrified. It's crazy. My whole town used to be all dog shit, now we have like a, we have a Chipotle, that's the, that's, in white neighborhoods, that's the sign, dude. Black neighborhoods, you get like a cupcake shop and fucking hipsters. If you live in a poor white trash town, it's you get one Starbucks or one Chipotle. Next thing you know, your whole town's gay. <laughs> right, I should stop. Uh, Jeremiah, where's Jeremiah? Yes. <laughs> yeah.